Welcome to the informal Craftsman Ratchet History update. <laughs> Given the fact that this is, you know, just being done off the cuff, I guess, you're going to be hearing probably other sounds, maybe our washing machine, laughter, <laughs> TV, all sorts of other things that make a household great. <laughs> so, nonetheless, what I wanted to go ahead and do is take a little bit of time to talk about uh, a few core principles of what I'm attempting to do as well as give those who are interested an update exactly what's going on and why it's taken as long as it has. So I guess without further ado, let's start. So back in 2015 when I had released the original series, I wasn't necessarily happy with what I had created. Along with that, I noticed that some of the things that I presented weren't very concise or cohesive, or even worse, I was incorrect in a few things. Moving forward, my thought was, well, I had done what I had done. I'll leave it up to the rest of the rest of the community to, to rectify. It was mostly a reward for those that had helped me uh, collect what I was looking to collect and, you know, helping me dredge up some of the history. Originally, I didn't think that as many people as I guess are interested in the series um, <laughs> would come out of the woodwork. Back when I had started, there were only a handful of players in the, in the realm that at least made themselves known. And what was readily available in terms of information uh, amongst the people that had been doing it before me uh, was pretty good in some instances, but was not even on the right right playing field uh, in others. So I had sought, you know, again, through my own interest and a few others, maybe we can make this our quest and, and see what we can do. So that was what we did. But it, <laughs> it could have been better. So since that point, I've dredged up more information. I have gone ahead and taken the loose outline scripts that I had created, where I was literally doing every single video ad hoc. I have made word for word scripting that I'm going to be doing and reading that's going to go ahead and match up with their corresponding ratchet history video. And rather than do the filming and the voice work all at one time in one take, I filmed individual pieces and recorded individual voice work to match up with what I'm doing. I basically did the original videos in like Microsoft Movie, it was <laughs> it was really basic, and my computer's processing capabilities, as well as other additional software, it wasn't that great. I spent the last several years buying some pretty serious hardware and software to try and help us on our quest to make a, a really great series. Ultimately, my goal is to make something that is not only, I guess, educational for those that are interested, it's something that's going to be a bit more fun and presented in a style that I think people will find a bit more visually uh, appealing. So with that said, why don't I just go ahead and show at least some of the stuff that I've got. And I guess I'll let you be the judge whether or not all of these years worth of waiting and this waiting we're doing still is worth it. I sure as hell hope it is. <laughs> but again, even if I guess I help one person, I'd consider that a victory. So, uh, believe it or not, while this is going to focus, all, as always, specifically on Craftsman Ratchets Made in America, we're going to go ahead and discuss some of the stuff that wasn't made here. And the reason being, by and large, has to do with the fact that so many people have questions about it. And realistically, it's going to be a part of a narrative that I am going to be building with, you know, Sears, the United States, as well as, I guess, we the people and how things have changed. Here is some of the generational names for those of you that are interested are going to be a bit different. Raise panel. Quick release ratchets get generation four now. <laughs> but 
I mean, yeah, there is a ton. Back in the day, the original videos were this, this, and that. <laughs> and that was it. Now I've got all this extra stuff. And then the back part's the YouTube uh, description that I constructed. I had to do that for every single one of these. And there's a ton of stuff here. Different checklists, skits, resources, Q&As, all that kind of stuff. It's all been done, some of it, for a really long time. But that's that. Well, I guess just to kind of give you a perspective, I'm filming this in 1080p at 24 frames per second. And even after cull culling the chaff, we're at 184 gigabytes and that's not all of the video footage. <laughs> Holy cow. And, oh, wow. Yeah, it's, I think the original video series, maybe in total, was something in the ballpark of about 20 to 30 gigs. Maybe. Uh, and this is unassembled. So, yikes. And there's more to come. And, yeah, let's go ahead and rip something out here. Ah, come on now. There we go. Oh, no, there's nothing in that one. Not yet. All right. So as you can see, I've gone through individually with different types of ratchets, trying to have consistent lighting. Again, these are raw files. So I haven't done anything to improve the lighting or anything like that. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. If we go with something a little bit more interesting, there's all of the teardown videos for anything that was interesting. Craftsman Ready Ratchet, what? That, I think I have all the files for that in another place. Some of the ratchets will be getting a new name just to make it a little less confusing. It's not because I'm trying to be pretentious or anything like that. It's even for my own book work, it was kinda, kinda crazy, I guess. We go ahead and go through each one individually. And the same is done with different pieces for their internals. It's pretty cool. This is showing actually a pretty cool feature with that specific family. More to come. Let's do let's do the fours ratchet. This one's pretty cool. Each ratchet has its own intro, intro based on however I felt like I wanted to do it. Try to present it in a way that's fun and interesting. But different panning shots, yeah, there's slider shots and all this other kind of crazy stuff. So. Unlike the video series before, Teardown and uh, History are together, but you don't actually see me going through the painstaking process of struggling to take some of these things apart. It's just real quick. And I go ahead and take the initiative to show you actually how the mechanism works in real time. <laughs> it wasn't always easy to do that. <laughs> I have a few bloopers where some of these gears will just launch right off. <laughs> But you get the idea. Uh, let's see. Intro bumpers. Let's do a bumper. Oh, this one was one that we did. That was actually a spelling error or a, a wording error. It's not fine tooth round head. It's round head fine tooth, damn it. 
and my wife and I realized it later. <laughs> so we had to fix it. So. You get the idea. There's many pieces in this. And my objective is to create something that is going to be a bit better, if, if you can bear with that. But I mean, we, I even did, unlike the last time, nah, we're just going to continue. But I actually go through the catalogs that were associated with corresponding tools. Some of this will be cut or edited, but you get the idea. As well as stuff from a long, long, long time ago. Oh yeah, that's from 1944. But I think you guys get the idea. The great news is this. After accumulating years of new information new technologies and softwares. I think I'm at a point where I can actually pr present something that was a bit closer to my original vision of what I would have liked to have done. I think that despite the delays, it will be worth it. And I hope that ultimately people find it entertaining. And for those that are looking to find everything, they'll have a great springboard upon which to build off of what I'm offering. And it's for free. It's, this is, this is uh, something that I've always wanted to do for any hobby. I've wanted to build a compendium. And while it's not going to be the end-all be-all, because I'm just one person and I'm doing the best that I can, I hope that folks will see what's done here, take it, and literally run with it. So, and just to kind of give you a, a, an idea, I mean, I went from, you know, having technology like this, And that little guy right there, that's what I originally did the series on. It was a, I think it was a CXR 220. But I mean, along with my other YouTube exploits, you know, I've been using FS7s and good old FS700 and 100s. These are actually pretty great. So I'm trying to balance other projects on YouTube, balance a career, balance a new a new career coming up here pretty quick, uh, a move. We've had a lot of family loss in the last few years. It's been tough, but I really wanted to go ahead and take the initiative to show that something is coming. You're just going to need to hang on, <laughs> and especially those that have been uh, supporting this project of all of the other projects I've done specifically. First of all, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your patience and even for your questions. I, I really appreciate that. But something's on the way. Just bear with me. <laughs> thank you very much.